Hello, welcome back to BS Live. Today, I just want to give you a quick tutorial on how to use Krita image painting app with Blender uh, for 3D painting. So let's get started. So let's have something in the 3D scenes first. I'm just going to select all and delete all. And we'll be using the monkey head. This guy is actually ready to be painted because he has a UV maps. So it's quite decent uh, UV map. And all you need to do is jump into texture painting and then here you probably want to give Suzanne uh, material so if you go to material and create new materials you cannot start painting because you need to give it also um, texture and a good way to do it is to do it from here so from material give a base color and that's the resolution of your texture just hit ok now suzanne become white color canvas and you can start painting but blender doesn't have um, a lot of uh, preset brush so you want to use something like krita let me check if my internet is working maybe it will work in a few seconds but anyway i already have krita but before i do that um i want to show you how you can project the painting so under the tool tab here if you don't have this tab just hit n this panel under here you will see there's an option called external so it's a bit hidden but you can maybe just bring this up and here you there is this external screen grab and the size so you can actually give this um, a higher number instead of 512 by 512 and try actually just hit quick edit and depending on your operating system on my Mac it should actually open up um, your image viewer app so now it seems to be doing nothing maybe I have to so you have to delete that save reference quick edit yeah see it's actually using the preview app to open the snapshot so let me show you again supposedly you have Krita already you want to go to edit preferences and file path here with the image editor you want to point into Krita I will do that in a second for now I'll, I'm gonna show you so with Suzanne in the 3d view just quick edit it's gonna jump and open up preview app with this of course you can use um, um, Apple pencil or just make like a doodle you can put text and whatever but if you save it you save it and go back to blender and then apply it's gonna be projected into Suzanne keep in mind look at this that uh, Suzanne had actually including the shading is being projected so keep that uh, in mind but it will actually respect the the alpha channel and everything so go to preferences let's point into Krita I have Krita already under my applications so Krita, it's a good idea to open Krita at this point. Krita is an image editing and painting tool. It also can be used for animations. Very powerful tool. I'm going to point into Krita from here, Blender Preferences. Under Mac, you can, you can do that by digging inside Krita. So Krita app, contents, Mac OS, Krita. And then save the preferences so it's always knows which image editor to use <clears throat> okay with Suzanne looking like this we can do it again quick edit now we are already inside Krita it's taking a snapshot and you can actually start uh, painting I'm using my mouse uh, let's choose a different tool use different color you can start like doing some crazy painting you can See, it's a it's layer, 
um, I'm painting over Suzanne and if you're doing it like this you're gonna hide Suzanne completely but that's okay for now just save hit OK go back to blender apply so that's basically the process but you can see here uh, Suzanne head it's actually we can still see the shading it's not like completely covering Suzanne unless you are using a different material like assigning it into emit for example uh, and you're gonna cover everything but it's respecting the the shading so if you are actually in the in the matcap and then you have uh, some kind of matcap it will actually take that snapshot as well so this one is a bit pink pinkish right but if you so if you go quick edit it's gonna open Krita with a new documents you can see the pinkish shading yep that's also being copied and projected you can work like this start uh, make like impressionist kind of painting style you can use the layered approach I haven't used Krita much actually but it should be pretty easy to understand so here what I'm doing is really just I pick a brush from the preset here a brush preset it should be under this dockers you can dock it you can actually float this see Krita is really cool and then here I'm using middle mouse button you can also use shift and rotate the canvas whatever you feel the most natural okay the blending is over here burn color etc let me hide that notification first of all and once you're happy just hit save you might be wondering where blender is saving that uh, temporary file so it's a good idea uh, actually if i'm not wrong blender will save it under your home see you're gonna have a lot of this project edit project edit uh, and you don't want that usually it's a good idea to go file inside blender go to file save as save this always save your blend inside a folder so it's a good idea on that so painting monkey um, basic save it as canvas so now Suzanne is looking too red and too yellow let's go this okay oh by the way Suzanne of course is very very low res you can you can go to object mode and increase the resolution if you like sometimes I like to work with a low res Suzanne and also it's up to you whether you want to keep it faceted or right click and shade smooth so shade smooth probably will give a nicer looking Suzanne but sometimes I do like the hard edged Suzanne and then I just add a bevel that's also kind of nice very arty so let's pick another angle of Suzanne make it slightly bigger like that you can go higher by the way so let's go back to let's save this first of all and then go back to texture painting and don't forget to save your texture time to time save all images and here screen gap uh 1024 okay you can go higher 1280 by 1280 pixel nicely framed suzanne quick edit we're we gonna jump back into Krita. okay it takes a while interesting um yeah really it's a uh, totally up to you what you want to do with this you can try uh, because i'm using mac os catalina i might actually be able to use uh, my iPad and Apple Pencil now to work with Krita. So with with mouse, it's actually it's quite okay, but you you get these strokes that uh, very much the same size all the time. Still pretty, it's pretty good. Um, the fact that you can do this using just open source tool and hit save. Okay apply so that's uh, basically the workflow and you can start to get a very interesting result oh don't forget also 
turn on Cafe T if you like this kind of AG kind of look with wireframe and with Cafe T you can get quite a lot actually so if you increase the value you get almost like a like a comic um, comic art with the outline etc especially at the front there with Susan face and and you can amplify that for sure so let me try um, turning on I have my iPad Pro over here I will turn on sidecar 